I'm Charlotte and this is Tired Mama Tries to Read. So even though I said that I won't be doing any parenting type blogs, um, I don't think children's books count because I bought children's books years before I was a parent and with no intention of giving them to a child. So I think that's, you know, I think we can all accept that there are some really nice children's books out there. And one of the things that I think I've noticed since the whole Kindle has taken, I don't want to say taken over because it hasn't, I think that publishers have kind of realised that beautiful books are the way to get people to buy print books because, you know, you just can't really replicate them in an, ele an electronic device. So uh, these are a classic example of that. So I got all of these from a real life bookshop um, with real life prices and um, I'm really glad I did. I kind of feel like if you see something in a bookshop or if, um, yeah, if you see something in real life somewhere that you have not heard of previously, that is that is where you found out about it and that is where your money kind of needs to go if you've got it. So I try really hard, if I'm alerted to something by going into a bookshop, then that is where I make the purchase, unless I'm totally broke. So I'm not allowed in any more bookshops the rest of the month because I, uh, I have definitely overspent. <laughs> um, I'm gonna jump straight in then. This is my favorite one, which I'm so happy with. Uh, it's called Little Leader, Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, and it is just absolutely beautiful. It's by um, Vashti Harrison. Um, she's, I'm presumably, written and illustrated it, because I can't see anyone else credited. But it's, it is just so lovely. I fell in love straight away. It's dedicated to all the women whose stories are in this book. Thank you for being leaders. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for being bold. We are grateful, and we are inspired. To all the leaders yet to come, big or little, I cannot wait to hear your stories. And it's got a little girl reading there. So cute. So it's basically exactly what it says. It's um, the stories of black women in history, beautifully illustrated, uh, many of whom I have never heard of. And I'm so happy to put that right. So there's Josephine Baker. It's got... Wales's very own Shirley Bassey in here. She comes a bit later. It's all in order of date, more or less. Um, and then it takes you all the way through. It's, it's through the sciences, through the arts, adventurers, um, uh, political leaders. Just amazing. Yeah, um, I'm already... So I'm here. I'm on Shirley, actually. There she is. And it's awesome. So I, I will be giving this to Idris at some point, but he's far too little to not ruin it right now. Um, and the next one is The Bee Book. Very beautiful. Um, and this is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's a book about bees, how they work, where they live, uh, what their honey does. I just loved it. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I'm a sucker for anything about bees, to be honest. I think I've got probably a dozen books up on my shelves about bees that I don't know if I've even read all of them. But this one I can read because it will take me about an hour. Um, again, something I might pass on uh, when I know little fingers won't rip the pages. Uh, this one is actually a birthday gift. So Mickey, if you're watching, I'm really sorry <laughs> to use your daughter's birthday gift on my blog, um, but I will wrap it for her in time. I just love it. Women in science. So beautiful. 50 fearless pioneers have changed the world. I'll just hold it a bit closer. Can you see that it's got some little sparkles? Always love sparkles. And it's really amazing illustrations. I, I, I maybe have heard of two of these people. It's so amazing. Look how beautiful it is. So it's got these super cool drawings. I would love to be able to get these as maybe prints to put on my wall. So I'm going to have to look into that. And then again, a potted history. And to be honest, the fact that this is a children's book makes no difference because um, with all the things that I've got to read, I imagine it would be quite a task to educate myself on 50 scientists in an adult way. But I could read this and actually get a fairly good gist of, of these people just through this book. So I'm, I'm, I might have to get one for me too. Um, and then the last one is another gift, but I had to show it to you because I love this series. So this is, again, D, if you're watching, I'm sorry to use your daughter's present in the vlog, but this is the Little People Big Dream series. And they, um, this is Audrey Hepburn. They are beautiful. Look, 
and this is the story of Audrey Hepburn. It's told really well and it doesn't pull any punches, so it talks about the war, it talks about rationing. Yeah, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't hide away from the truth. It, it's not romanticised particularly. It's still sort of made palatable. And then look, isn't that amazing? Oh, sorry, motorbike, I buy. Um, and then at the back, it shows you all the other ones. So I've already bought Rosa Parks for another friend's little girl. Um, I think for uh, my little boy, I might get him the Frida Kahlo for Christmas because I love Frida. Um, and I'm hoping to go to the exhibition in London, so it might even be for sale there, you never know. There's Coco Chanel, Maya Angelou, Amelia Earhart, Agatha Christie, Marie Curie, Amelia Pankhurst, and then Rosa Parks. So, yeah, really recommend this series. Just beautiful. So those are my children's books. Um, they cost more than all of the other books because I bought them from a real shop, but that's okay because I love them. So um, uh, hopefully in a week I'll be able to do some kind of review um, of something that I've read if this weather gives me a break and lets me sleep. Um, hope you're having a lovely day and see you soon.